Welcome to Inspired Embellishing Level 2. We've already learned how to use wools and yarns and now we're going to develop into using a variety of different fabrics. We've invited along today Mfanwe Hart to teach us how to use these fabrics. I can see from your scarf that you've already made a start Mfanwe. Indeed yes and that's one of the things that we're going to look at today and we're going to look at fibres and landscapes, patchwork fabrics, quite a lot of other things as well. Well I've invited along today Holly and Mary and Emma to join you and I think one of the magical things about these embellishing machines is that they actually appeal to all age groups. They certainly do. Well listen you have some fun. Thank you. We will. I've cut some snippets and this is what I'm going to do. These are all patchwork fabrics. Well are they all the leftover bits from your patchwork? They're just, yes, just little bits that are left over. They don't need to be very big at all. And all I'm going to do, I've got a piece of, of lightweight calico and I'm just going to pop it underneath and work it on. As I do it, it's going to become distressed, which is really rather attractive. But you can see that it's going through to the back. Yeah. Now I'm going to choose another piece and don't forget that patchwork fabrics have got two sides. So you might only start with five different pieces of fabric, but when you turn them over, they do change and you end up with ten. I'm taking a scarf length and I'm going to start in the middle. I always start in the middle because if you do that, you end up with roughly equal halves. And I'm lying it on top of a piece of felt. I'm just quickly going to work straight down the centre. In a straight line? In a straight line for this particular purpose. And then I'm going to move to one side. So here you're creating stripes of embellished. So I'm just at the moment creating embellished stripes, as you say. And it's not attaching itself to the felt, is we'll it? We'll see in a minute. Oh, OK. It's great. It looks like it's been gathered. It looks like you've spent hours oh, stitching and it. gathering. Smocking, that's yes. it. Now, mm -hmm. if I just move the machine away again, you will see oh. that the silk comes off the felt really easily. So it didn't attach itself. It hasn't attached itself to the silk, but it, but, but it did make it much more stable mm. than actually working with the silk on its own. We've looked at lots of techniques, so now we're going to start to put them together to create some landscapes. A lot of the colours and the textures that we've been using really lend themselves to this, especially the scrim and the wool and the viscose, and some of the surfaces are just crying out to be used in this way, and I'd like to show you some of the ways that we've already done it. We've, here we've got a background of scrim and onto it we've put some of the vegetarian silk that we talked about earlier. We've uh, worked it in with the embellisher so that we've got areas of clouds and the green and what have you and we've put little areas of scrim so that it gives the impression it's starting flowers. to suggest flowers, isn't starting it? Starting to suggest. It needs a lot more work. It needs bringing together with stitching, but we'll talk more about that later. So you've just had a taster of our embellishing workshop, and we hope you've enjoyed it. If you too have been inspired, watch our website on colorishes.com, and there you'll be able to buy your own DVD.